kindly make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel and make sure that you register with excel academy in this tutorial i'm just going to rainbow some diagram from week 3 of embryonic development let's quickly get started so we have been given this diagram and we have been asked to label these diagrams you need to understand that during week 3 the embryo has three germ layers which is the mesoderm, endoderm and the ectoderm and we need to understand that these germ layers are just coming from the what from the two bilaminar disc which was formed in week 2 so let's quickly look at some of the features that you need to expect in the embryo during week 3 so when you look at A, A is just simply the syncytial trophoblast. And if you look at B, B is just the uh, cytotrophoblast. Then you look at C, C is just the what? The extraembryonic mesoderm. And you look at D, D is just the amniotic cavity. And this amniotic cavity is being formed from the what? From the epiblast. And then below the epiblast, you need to expect the hypoblast. And then under the hypoblast, there is a cavity which is known as the what? The definite yolk sac. Let's quickly look at the next diagram. So in the next diagram, we are still looking at the what? We are still looking at the at the at week three of imblo. And then when you look at this, this is where by now the the syncytial blast, the cytotrophoblast have penetrated through the walls of the uterus and the, the lacuna is now capable of interacting with the sinusoid capillaries of the water of the of the mother. So let's quickly look at A. A is just simply the endometrium of the uterus and then B is just the intervillar space which has a lot of blood vessels and then if you look at C, C is just the connective stock which is the future umbilical cord. E is just the uh, chorionic cavity and then F is just the chorionic plate, G is the mesoderm core with the capillaries, H it is the cytotrophoblast, I is the, is the syncytial blast, J is the outer cytotrophoblastic shell and then lastly it is the maternal blood vessels which are known as what as the as the sinusoid so let's quickly move on and look at the next question so when we look at the next question we need to understand that a is just simply the outer cytotrophoblast and this outer cytotrophoblast you need to understand that see, it is surrounded by the syncytial trophoblast, which we are going to label later on. Then B, it is just the what see, it is just the connective stroke, which is the future umbilical cord. Then C is just the amniotic cavity. D is the definite yolk sac, and then E it is just the chorionic plate then if you look at f f is just a cavity called the chorionic cavity g it is the exocolonic cyst and then we have uh, we have h which is size and then we have i which is the interventricular space and j is lastly the tertiary stem Villi. So please make sure that you know how to label these diagrams and make sure that you are also able to draw this same diagram. So let's quickly move on and look at this other feature which you are supposed to understand. So this feature is just showing the three germ layers which have developed from the which have developed from the epiblast and the hypoblast, such that the the ectoderm will come from the epiblast, the knee, the endoderm will come from the hypoblast, and then the cells of the ectoderm will start penetrating in between the endoderm and the uh, ectoderm 
to form another layer which is known as the what the mesoderm so let's quickly look at a a is just the amniotic blast amnioblast then b remember the amnioblast it is being created by the what by the epiblast b is just the yolk sac from the from the endoderm or the hypo hypoblast then e is the hypoblast remember the hypoblast is the one which is supposed to develop into a knee endoderm then f is the invaginating mesoderm cells which are just simply coming from the ectoderm then we have um, uh, g which is just the epiblast which will later on develop into the ectoderm and then h is the primitive node and then i is the primitive streak which are playing a role in the formation of the neural tube okay let's let's quickly move on and look at another diagram so when you look at a a is just simply the bucopharyngeal membrane which is the future of the stomach and at this particular point the endoderm and the ectoderm are able to interact then b is the cut edge of amnion and then c is just the prenotocodal cells okay and then you need to understand that the prenotocodal cells will lead to the formation of the notochord which will induce the formation of the of the neural tube yeah and then d is the cloacal membrane which is the future part of the anus and this part the endoderm and the ectoderm are able to interact so the endoderm and the ectoderm are able to interact at two regions the bucopharyngeal membrane and cloacal membrane then primitive streak and also the primitive node both of them are playing a role in the formation of the of the of the neural tube which is just going to play a role in the formation of the nervous system so guys let's quickly look at this other one so if you look at a a is just the bucopharyngeal membrane the future part of the mouth and then b it is the walls of the yolk sac remember the walls of the yolk sac that's where the that's where the primordial germs originate from and then c is just the epiblast below the epiblast you have the hypoblast then e E is just the primitive streak and F is just the cut edge of the amnion. So guys, thank you very much for joining me. Make sure that you register with Excel Academy and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel.